A worker stands beside an active industrial steel line when a fault hits, and calm air becomes a live pathway. Never, ever keep people near energized systems without confirmed isolation, verified grounding, and enforced electrical exclusion zones. On a construction storage yard, stacked formwork and timber break free above and drop straight into the work zone below. Never, ever stage materials at height without restraints, edge protection, and an exclusion zone underneath. Materials don't fall by accident. They fall when gravity is given a path. Secure edges and keep drop zones clear. On a two-lane rural road, a truck moves with a worker riding on its rear when a sudden head-on impact violently changes everything. Never, ever allow riding, standing, or holding on to the exterior of a moving vehicle under any circumstances. In this scenario, the truck experiences a sudden frontal collision. That impact rapidly reduces forward momentum and transfers force through the vehicle. Structure. The truck's mass resists the change. Anything not mechanically secured does not. This rapid exchange of energy leaves no stable position at the rear. Vehicles are engineered to protect what's inside, not what's hanging on. Momentum changes without warning, and when it does, anything unsecured becomes a projectile, sometimes in both directions. At a water treatment facility in Paraná, anything unsecured is violently displaced, sometimes in unpredictable directions. Never ever cut, open, or intervene on pressurized pipelines unless isolation, depressurization, and zero energy verification have been physically confirmed, not assumed. Large diameter pipelines store enormous amounts of potential energy when pressurized. In this case, a 750 millimeter drinking water pipe was believed to be depressurized as part of scheduled maintenance. However, a malfunctioning pressurization valve allowed internal pressure to remain trapped inside the system. When cutting began, the pipe wall became the weakest point in a closed pressurized volume. The internal water pressure, unable to dissipate gradually, released instantly once structural integrity was compromised. Pressure is invisible, silent, and unforgiving. Before cutting steel or concrete, every stored force must be proven neutralized because when pressure escapes, the worksite becomes the impact zone. On a flatbed tow truck, a forklift starts down the deck and gravity takes over in a heartbeat. Never, ever rely on engine braking, steering, or operator reaction to control heavy equipment during unloading. Mechanical restraint and controlled descent must be in place before movement begins. When a forklift starts moving off a flatbed, gravity immediately becomes the dominant force. The truck deck acts as an inclined plane, even when it appears nearly level. Because forklifts are designed for flat, controlled surfaces, their braking systems are not engineered to manage sudden downhill. Momentum from elevated platforms. Once the forklift's mass commits to the slope, velocity increases rapidly. Unloading is not driving. It's controlled release of mass. If gravity is allowed to set the pace, the machine becomes uncontrollable before anyone can react. On a steel construction floor, a routine lift is underway until a moment of horseplay turns scattered materials into a sudden trip hazard. Never, ever engage in horseplay or distractions around moving equipment and stored materials on an active job site. Steel bars and beams create uneven surfaces and hidden trip points, especially when laid out at floor level. Once equipment begins moving, attention and balance become critical. With no clear walking path and limited reaction time, gravity does the rest. The hazard isn't speed or weight, it's loss of footing in a cluttered work zone. Job sites aren't playgrounds. Around heavy materials, distractions erase margins for error, and gravity always enforces the rules. Inside a garage workspace, a ladder is used to reach stored material overhead. Then a drop load turns the ladder itself into a sudden hazard. Never, ever drop materials from height while standing on or beside a ladder. Maintain ladder stability and control the drop zone at all times. When the load is released, gravity accelerates it downward. On impact with the floor, that energy doesn't disappear. It transfers outward. Because the ladder is within the impact zone, the force strikes the ladder's base. That sudden impulse reduces friction at the feet and shifts the ladder's support points. Once the base moves, the ladder rotates and its geometry collapses. Ladders depend on quiet stability. 
Dropping loads into their base turns stored energy into motion, and once the ladder moves, balance is already gone. Inside a warehouse loading bay, a massive paper roll begins to move, and a single attempt to stop it turns the floor into a trap. Never, ever attempt to stop or restrain a moving roll or cylindrical load by hand or body positioning. Once it starts rolling, only engineered controls can stop it safely. Large rolls are dangerous because rotational inertia keeps them moving once they start. A smooth round cylinder has no natural break, so it will keep rolling until a strong opposing force stops it. As the roll translates across the floor, rotation stores kinetic energy. If someone steps in, the roll doesn't feel resistance. It transfers force into the contact point. A rolling load has one rule. It doesn't stop for people. Control rolls with chocks, guides, and mechanical handling, because once rotation begins, the safest distance is clear of the path entirely. In a parking lot with an open engine bay, a small ignition source turns a quiet repair moment into a fast-moving ground fire. Never, ever work around open fuel systems or suspected leaks while electrical systems or ignition sources remain energized. Internal combustion engines generate multiple ignition sources even when not actively driving. Electrical sparks from starters, relays, battery connections, or damaged wiring can occur unexpectedly during repair or inspection. Fire doesn't need flames to start. It only needs fuel and a spark. If energy sources aren't isolated, ignition can happen anywhere the vapors reach. Inside a busy warehouse aisle, a forklift reverses at speed, totally unaware of the fixed steel column behind him. Never, ever reverse industrial vehicles without a full rear check and speed control. Fixed structures do not move, yield, or absorb momentum. Forklifts have limited rear visibility, and when reversing, the operator relies on mirrors, awareness, and low speed to maintain control. As speed increases, stopping distance grows non-linearly. Even a short burst of acceleration significantly increases momentum. Reverse motion removes your safety margin. If you don't slow down and look first, momentum will finish the move for you, and steel will always win. Outside a restaurant patio, an extension ladder is set up quickly, and a routine task turns unstable in seconds. Never, ever use an extension ladder unless it is secured at the top and bottom, set at the correct angle, and placed against a rigid load-bearing surface. If the base is not restrained, gravity creates a sliding force along the ground. At the same time, the top contact point must resist outward rotation. Without anchoring, even small movements or shifts in posture reduce friction enough for the ladder to slide. Once motion begins, acceleration is immediate. Ladders don't fail randomly. They fail when setup rules are ignored. Training matters because stability is built before the climb, not corrected after it starts. At a roadside unloading area, a crane lifts a large steel-framed load, and the suspended mass suddenly starts to swing and drop toward the ground. Never, ever stand beneath or near a suspended load. Once lifting forces shift, gravity and momentum decide the outcome. Suspended loads balance gravity against rigging tension. If rigging is uneven, the boom moves abruptly, or the load shifts, sideways motion starts. The load then behaves like a pendulum, converting height into swing energy. With masses, small angles create forces, impossible to stop by hand, making timing unpredictable. A suspended load is never stable, it is only temporarily balanced. Stay clear, control swing, and respect gravity, because once motion starts, distance is the only protection. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Take care.